Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today we're going to work on this really cute little chicken picture and frame. Well, actually, we're just going to work on the frame today. Uh, I really love how this picture is. I love the picture. I love the frame or the bones of the frame, but I really would rather have it be black and I think it would accent the picture a lot better as well. So I'm going to go ahead, instead of taking the frame apart, because the back is so hard to take off, it's on there really well, and I didn't want to mess with it, and all I really need to do is just tape off the glass like I'm doing here, so that the black doesn't get on the glass part. Even if it does, I could clean it off, but this would make it a lot easier and neater job, I think. So I just tape off all the way around in the corners. I'm giving it a quick sand and then wipe down just so the paint will stick really nicely. And I'm grabbing the uh, Waverly chalk paint and ink and I'm gonna paint the whole frame. I'm just doing one coat because it's covering really nice and I'm also going to sand it back so I really don't need to have full full coverage but it actually does cover it very nicely. I think it might have been because I did sand it. That might have helped. I don't show it in, on the video but I did flip it over and do the back side too and sealed it as well. Okay, so now that the paint has dried, I am taking the tape off, and as you can see, it came out pretty good. I think I got it on there pretty nicely and didn't make too much of a mess. Now I'm going to make a mess by sanding it down. <laughs> I just want to bring some back, back some of that brown uh, that was in the frame. I did like it, but I just didn't want that much of it. And I think the brown brings out some of the brown in the rooster, as I'm pointing out here. That brings it out in the black feathers in the rooster. It does the same thing. So I think it helps marry the two pieces together a little bit better. So here I'm putting on some clear wax, and I'm doing it all over the frame. I did get a little bit on the glass, but it wipes right off. It's not a problem. But I like how when I put this on, it deepens that brown color. Well, and also the black color too, and it just deepens the two colors and just makes it look so nice. All right, so now that it's all on, I'm just going around and wiping it back and taking it off, and it blends that in really good. So I like that, gives it a nice seal. There we go, it's all done. To project number two. This is an old chalkboard that I just picked up at Goodwill for three dollars I believe. I didn't have a lot to choose from and this was kind of the, the best that I could find. So I'm just heating up the stickers that were on it and peeling those off and making sure all the sticky is off there and uh, I'm gonna sand down that wood again because I want to distress this as well and I think that works really good to sand it down and then bring it back. So I had to work on that spot where the one of the stickers was a little bit and because you could see where it had been. But I get I did get it off. And this one I decided to use spray paint because there was so many corners and uh, different angles to it uh, and edges. So I just figured since I was out there, I had a couple pieces I wanted to do, so I would spray paint it, and it came out really nice. So now I am taping off the chalkboard because it was green, and I wanted to put a fresh coat of black chalkboard paint on it, and I didn't want it all over. Not that it would be a big deal, but um, I wanted to sand this back, and I didn't, I didn't want to have a problem with that. So I have my chalkboard spray paint, and I'm doing a thin coat 
uh, I did two coats, I believe. You don't want to do a thick, thick coat. You want to do a thin coat each time and do several coats of it. So I only did two because it was a chalkboard before. It, if, it, if it was a board that had never been a chalkboard before, then I may have done more coats of it. Now this is the wallpaper that I also got uh, at a flea market the, just a few days ago. And I figured I'd cut that out and get that cut to size. And while I waited for the chalkboard to dry, I cut that out and then did another coat of spray on it. And now I'm using Mod Podge and going down at the bottom. And this was a cork board uh, that I'm putting this piece of wallpaper border on. And I'm just kind of centering it in there and getting it flattened out the best I can, getting as many bubbles out. Uh, I'm still going to have them because it was a cork board underneath, so you're going to have bumps and bubbles. But I wanted to make sure the big bubbles were out. And they usually, once that dries, it sucks it down anyway. So I let that sit for a few minutes, and then I came back, and the chalkboard was dry and I decided to put a coat of sealer or Mod Podge on the top of the wallpaper border so that would seal it down very nicely. And then taking off the tape because I want to distress the, the wood pieces around it. just distressing those edges all the way around wherever I can find a place to use my sandpaper and get in there and just get those edges. It brings back the brown paint that's in it um, and just adds to the distressed look. So now I'm wiping it back, making it all nice and clean. At the top it had this little ceramic piece that I didn't want to take out because it was inlaid into the wood but I didn't also want it to say memo. I think that's what it said before. So I decided that I would take my plaster paint, Waverly chalk paint, uh, which is like a light, light yellow or off-white color, and do my stencil and do home. And I'm gonna go back over that with some antique wax to make that look a little more aged, uh, give it that aged effect. But first I want to go all the way around with some, again, clear wax. I do have spray sealer, but I liked the looks of this wax once I wipe it back. I thought it really ni looked nice, so and I like the feel of it too. So I decided to go ahead and do that again. So I'm just wiping that all back. And again, that brings out that brown. I really like it. So while the home was drying, um, I decided to take some jute rope and go around the edges of the chicken frame. I thought that would look nice and finished off if I did that. Add a little bit more to the country primitive look. Okay, so now what I'm doing is taking the antique wax and going over the home sign or the paint because I want it to look more aged. It was a little too bright for me and I want, didn't feel like it set well with the frame. So I put that on there and just gently wiped it back a little bit and I like that a little bit better. You're probably wondering here what I'm doing. I have some black and white checked ribbon and I wanted to make a small bow, but again, I thought that white in that ribbon was a little too bright for the bow, so I did both sides with the antique wax and just aged that bow a little bit, or that ribbon a little bit, so that when I put it on there, it all looked cohesive. 
um, and I didn't have the bright whites on it. And it actually worked very well, so in case you're looking to do something like that, it worked quite well. It accepted the wax, and I thought it looked really, really good. This video is an open collaboration of what would you make and there's a couple hosts and a guest host. One host is okay at home DIY and the second host is Connie's Creative Creations and the, thir and the third host is Lovely Moments Creating. So I'd like to thank all three of these ladies for letting me join in their open collaboration of what would you make. The links to their channels and to the playlist of all the other people that will be joining in this collaboration will be down in the description below. So make sure you check it out. On to project number three. Now this is a little rooster shelf. I believe it came from Rite Aid. I'm not really sure. Um, my sister gave it to me and I decided that I would make it over and see what I could get it to look like. So when she gave it to me the rooster was falling off so I did glue him back on and I as you saw I sprayed it down with some black spray paint and then once it dried I brought it inside and sanded down the edges and the little lattice work that was inside it's like a basket weave I think that looked really neat and here I'm taking a little burgundy paint and going over the feathers of the bird. I'm not really sure if I really like this or not. Uh, I may come back and instead of doing the burgundy, come back and do my rust treatment that I do um, or my grungy treatment on there. I think that might look a little better. But I think the shelf really came out nice and I like it in the black instead of the red tones. Let me know what you think. I definitely have a chicken theme going on here, did you notice? So which project did you like the best today? Let me know down in the comments. So if you're interested in any of these items, check out the link down in the description to my Etsy shop, and I'll leave a playlist here so that you can check out more of my repurposed, upcycled items. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.